More news coming out of the New York Toy Fair thanks to Ghostbusters.net as they were able to catch up with the marketing supervisor of Diamond Select Toys, Zach Oat. Now let's first talk about the film line. Janos Poha from Ghostbusters 2 is set to come with a lenticular disappearing Vigo the Carpathian painting. And if that's not cool enough, he's also going to be paired up with a pair of new hands for Vigo? Yes, Janos comes with a pair of Vigo hands so Vigo can actually hold baby Oscar. Also, there has been some concern about the original Ghostbusters sign that is shown in the Firehouse diorama. Zack has confirmed that that sign is no longer reversed on the backside like it was originally shown. So, they fixed it. Alright, now let's move on to the real Ghostbuster figures, because like I thought, the Stay Puft figure is going to be fully articulated. I mean, I guess as articulated as a large marshmallow man can be. Now on to the main four real Ghostbusters. They do share the same torsos as their film counterparts, but they will feature new sculpts in areas like the legs. Example, Ray being shorter and Egon being much taller. And for those worried about price going up with the real Ghostbusters line, it's not. The Ghostbusters Select series, the one that comes with the diorama pieces, are still expected to retail for about $24.99, with the basic figures being available at Toys R Us somewhere between $14.99 to $17.99. Also, as of right now, nothing is certain after Series 10. The future of the series depends on sales. If you want to see more figures from Diamond Select Toys, be sure to support this line. Now aside from that, Zack also touched on that Diamond Select Toys is looking into possible upcoming vehicles. If you want to learn more about that, be sure to check out the Ghostbusters Interdimensional Crossrip on Facebook, as they're going to have a link to the full interview very soon. That's all we have for you guys for this update, and we'll see you right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. Eyes, so